Good afternoon, you kick-ass music makers. Welcome to Clusterfuck 24. Yeah, that's what we're in. I hope the new year is starting off decent for you guys. I really do. I hope you guys are lining up shows. Here's a quick little update of um, uh, the situation on the uh, on the lake here, that uh, place I'm playing at, is that the place is shut down. It is down. So, uh... Uh, but I think it's needs. I think it's well deserved because the um, you know it's just it wasn't run correctly. Uh, it needed management badly. So the word that they gave me, the owners, uh, they just told me that they're going to be shut down for a little bit, two weeks to a month. I heard they didn't tell me that directly, but. Uh, they did, they, all they said they were going to be shut down for a bit, but I'm hearing over the grapevine it could be open in two weeks. It's already been a week and a half, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm not holding my breath. I'm actually this week going to start knocking on some doors. Got to do that and see if I can land another permanent kind of gig for the winter. I do all right in the summer, spring and all that, but sometimes, and, and, and I have the residents at the Moose a couple times a week and they're giving me the fifth weekend uh on the months that have five weekends so that, that's that's pretty cool but anyway so yeah that's what's going on there uh only thing i wanted to touch on today is uh, i am i think i'm i'm gonna be showing you next week uh a little bit of my recording studio i know a lot of uh guys on here and gals probably uh, probably interested in my recording procedure, what I'm using, uh, stuff like that. I'm working on a new song now, but you know, I'm at that point where I've got the basis of the song down, but I don't know how I want it produced. I don't know if I want to produce it more uh, bluesy or maybe more uh, bluegrassy a little bit. So um, I haven't fired up my little lap steel in a while. So uh, I've got this nice little lap steel that uh, some of you guys probably already know. Uh, it has a couple benders on it, a B and a G bender. And uh, I got I ordered that from this guy in uh, Germany. And uh, yeah, mounted on there great. And it's, oh man, it's just bitching. You can get that pedal steel sound going. So yeah, or do I want to have the song bend towards more of a a little wing kind of Hendrixy thing? Um, I did get a new head, or uh, well, it's not new, but I'll explain that to you later on that, um, and we'll get into that, and I'll tell you what happened with that. But it, it ended up working out good. I ended up fixing everything, but. Uh, anyway, so today though, real quick, I wanted to touch base. I've had a couple of requests on um, my mic stand. Um, I'm using a double, I'm, I've got two mics. And so obviously I've got a mic. I've just recently, probably in the past, well, I believe this, or uh, uh, I think I started, I don't know, it's probably been maybe three or four months since I started incorporating a, a harp a harmonica so yeah I've got some harmonicas because there's a lot of songs uh, Tom Petty um, Bob Dylan songs that I use the harp in and uh, yeah so and I've played harp ever since I was a kid I think uh, you know so I kind of you know, ever since I learned uh, Camp Town Lady sing this song on the harp uh, I've always kind of had a harp around and farted around with it. You know, I'm not a killer harp player or anything like that, but I, I know enough to to figure out a song and how that's used in a song and make the song come across close to the record. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I wanted to go over that with you. And uh, so I hope everything is going great so far this year. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting year, guys, girls. It's going to be an interesting year. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I purchased a mic stand. And it's, you know, I, I went and got a mic stand off of uh, of uh, eBay. And I got, I, I didn't want to get the real cheapy, cheapy stands. And I like the stands that have the, um, I like the stands that have, 
the round base. I just for some reason um, I don't like I don't like the legs, um, but only because the way my setup is, I really can't get my mic stand close to me if it has legs. So this here is, uh, I like the round base. So what I did was I ended up adding a, a five pound weight, which is overkill. I don't need that much. I'm gonna get rid of that weight. I'm sure they have a two pound or a one pound disc from a weight set at a punch, I mean at a, a thrift store, I can probably get and put on there. I do want to add more than what the the original base is, um, I j because this is the thing. I'll give you a little tour of this thing. Comes up here. This already got stripped out, so I'm gonna probably have to take that apart, and so I can lock that. This joint here is holding up. Who makes this? This is a uh, on stage piece of shit, probably from China. Um, okay, and then I've got, you know, this is to a weight set, to a barbell or whatever it is. And so I got that and this adds weight because the weight that comes on here, this little thing here, dude, it's like, it's not even a weight. I, I, I can't believe they do that. But anyways, so this is probably a pound maybe I don't know maybe a pound and a half I don't know what that is but it really helps and it's less strain on this down here because these always get loose and strip out down here around this thing here this will strip out you know anyway so this is always good you know you can lock that fine that this this works fine anyway so I don't know what the now this is my setup and so I, this, uh, if you can see here, this attaches to your main mic stand, your boom, okay? It attaches to your boom. I had to put a piece of Velcro because it's not very sharp on this bolt that torques down. And so it kept moving and it still moves, but not as much, it's pretty stiff, putting a piece of Velcro on, on there. Um, and then you got this here, this, this, actually holds my uh, harmonica mic so I put a regular SM58 and it's got a spring on it with a magnet and you set it right you set your uh, harp right on it it sticks perfectly so that part works good this thing bends so I can bend and adjust you know depending on uh, what I'm doing or whatever and then I've got this here too um, this has to, and this is my mic, my singing mic. So I've got these kind of like next to each other. Uh, and these will be, this here, I don't know if I can see this, I probably can't see this, but I usually push this back a little bit. And this thing bends, but it's pretty stiff. But this thing is already, hang on here. Monica mic in here, SM58, SM58. Uh, this is my beta. This is a regular FM58. Uh, uh, and that's it. So, yeah, and with this on, heavy bass at the bottom. With the heavy bass at the bottom, this works out pretty cool. Uh, so, it is working. And this is what I'm using. So yeah, this thing, this is an adapter. You can get it on eBay. It uh, bolts right to your main boom. Uh, it just clamps on down with the screw. You can adjust it here if you want it higher or lower. And then I have a elbow here. Now, I think what I'm gonna do later on when I have more time, I'll do this before we get into spring. Uh, or when we get into spring. This I got here, this I bought. Now, I like this. 
I think I'd rather use this because this thing's cumbersome a little bit. It's it's just, I mean, it's working great, but I would rather just put it on the elbow of this, put this, and then put the elbow, bend it where this is, this will bend this way. So it'll bend towards me because this is the thing is I don't, I don't, this is that adapter I was telling you about. You can also use this, but just make sure you get an elbow for your boom so you can swing it around or you might not even need one. If you have the mic stand straight in front of you, then this is all you need. You don't need this elbow here. Forget about that. You know what I'm saying? Just get this and this will work if you have, if you're able to put the mic stand straight in front of you. I don't, I can't put, because I have a board underneath me, you know, my power supplies, and then on a little anvil case, and I've got my TC and my extension button to the the uh, Beat Buddy uh, Velcro on there. So, and it lifts my feet up and I sit on a bar stool. That's what I, I mean, I kind of miss standing up, but you know, it's nice sitting down too, you know, so whatever. But anyways so yeah it's either this this guy right here this is made by simpler simpler simp simpler fi fi simpler fi so that's who makes this thing um and it comes with the adapters on it i believe pretty sure but this if like i said if you're just running a mic stand with a boom and it's straight in front of you, this is all you need. You can have a, if you're playing a harp, you know, for playing harp. Uh, and that's all this is for. So that's that on that. So this is my uh, clusterfuck microphone. I mean, a uh, clusterfuck mic stand. It looks like a pile of shit, doesn't it? It looks like something like out of the, that came out of the, uh, space shuttle or something i don't know it's just a piece of shit but this is the thing i cannot stand a mic stand i can't stand a mic stand that moves on you it's the worst it's the most aggravating freaking thing i can think of when you're on stage performing when you're chasing the fucking mic you get on because i like to get on the mic and uh I mean, I'm not on it, constantly touching it with my lips, but I'm usually on that mic pretty good. And sometimes you get on it and, and then you end up chasing the mic because the, the swivel is moving and you're like bending over and then, then you got to back off, bring the mic in, in the middle of a strum and try to bring the mic in and keep it from moving. Yeah. So I'm going to get the, I'm going to get this set up bitching. I'm close. I think my idea is close because I got the extra weight at the base and then I've got the extra weight here because you're adding more weight. You're adding two more microphones here, right? Two more microphones here. So if it was, if I didn't have this weight on here, this would constantly, no matter how much you get these tight, it would end up sinking. So that sucks. You don't want that. Hey dude, what's going on? Hey, say hi to music makers. Huh? You want to say hi? You big, beautiful boy, you. Are you getting hot in the sun? Huh? He's a big, beautiful boy. Anyway, so, yeah. That is the worst. I can't stand a wobbly mic stand. <laughs> I don't know if you guys seen... Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen early footage of the Beatles... Uh, you know, when they toured around in the States and, you know, they didn't have state of the art stuff, man. It was very primitive kind of stuff. They didn't even, I don't even think they had monitors once in a while. They might've had a monitor, but yeah, but you see them up on the mic stands. I've seen John do it. I've seen Paul do it. They both get on the mic. The mic's swerving around to the right. It's swerving around to the left. They have to grab it and bring it in again. And I mean, I saw, I saw Paul. Uh, it, it hurt my heart. I saw Paul on one performance, you know, 1965 or whatever, when they toured out here. And he was constantly grabbing the mic and bringing it up because it kept vibrating, probably the stage, and it kept swinging over. Pull it over again. 
and they didn't you know back then it's like dude where's the stage hand we're uh he's like poor guys they had to kind of just do it all themselves so when i saw you know but seeing that it just it irks me to no end when you don't have a stable mic stand forget about it that's all i can say forget about it it's uh it's not good it's just not good because you're you know you're trying to get into your song and get your song out there and you're farting around with shit besides hitting your buttons on the floor you know really yeah so that's me you know some of you guys maybe not not care or whatever but man i gotta have a stable mic stand i can't have a like i said i at this point you can see here it's like when i touch it it, it you know it's it's moving but it's actually oh that's right i put tape on there I put tape on there the other night so just to keep it from otherwise it would have just swirled all the way around or swirled all the way out I, ugh, it irks me to no end but anyway so I just wanted to uh, knock that out of the way because I know you guys had some uh, questions uh, on how my setup is for having the dual mics one for harmonica and the other one for vocals and that's what I'm doing the one of you guys on here I know I think you're on my Facebook page I can't remember but He's got a nice setup, and it's nice, clean setup. And he's using, like I said, he's using this thing right here. So I'm gonna try to do that. I just need an elbow because I don't have my mic in front of me. I have it off to the right between my case that holds the speakers and my board. And then I have, um, and then I have my box in front of me. So the stand, is well i'm standing right here right standing right there and i probably have the mic stand right where you see it it's off to so it's off to my right so i have to have an elbow here and i got the elbow i just haven't used it and set it up yet i ended up ordering this uh just to try it out and i haven't changed it yet and haven't even got into it but yeah that way i can take this off all right use this yeah i gotta I, i'm still working on it it's called uh trial by error you know sometimes you got to do that with your gear you, you know you don't know if it's going to work or not or you might work for somebody else but you don't know if it's going to work for you because you know each of us are different we set up differently so yeah the solo gigging life i'm hopefully once the channel gets a little bit bigger and uh um maybe if i can build up some kind of revenue and thank you by the way for you guys's donation andrew thank you for that uh i, I think i thanked you last time i or i might have forgot your name but i believe it's andrew that ended up uh uh donating to the channel uh and it's helped me support this channel and keep it going but um because if you you know hopefully you guys uh like the raw shit that i do it's just you know there's no heavy production on it and uh it's just i just want to tell the truth because you know you want pe i want people to get out there more i want those music makers that are debating whether they should or if they've been in a band for a lot of years or they've been retired for a lot of years and they're thinking about getting back out there and doing it it'll do nothing but better your life because you're you're giving and what better gift right than to give music give it to them you know and so yeah it's a blessing for sure but anyway so that's about the it's about the clusterfuck microphone stand for the clusterfuck year 24 so anyways you guys you guys all rock thank you again for uh you know uh watching the channel if you feel like uh, you want to subscribe, go for it. Subscribe. Ain't going to hurt you. Tax man ain't going to come after you. So anyway, so you guys all rock. Um, talk to you next week. And uh, like I said, I think I might end up going through some of the new gear I got for my studio. Because uh, this is winter. And, you know, a lot of places slow down a little bit in the winter and you guys know that being solo artists and even in bands or whatever it slows down a little bit in the winter 
some uh, you know sometimes it's not but you know for the most part i think it does it slows down a little bit but uh but if you can get a couple steady gigs then you're good and you're good so uh all right you guys you guys take care um and uh, we'll talk to you next week ciao for now